I've always loved that this is one of the last brick streets yes. in Laurel. Yeah. Well, in this whole neighborhood, you could tell at one point it was a really sought after place to live. We're going to look at houses with Lisa and Mike Cochran. The thing that's really cool about what they're doing is they want to invest in a house that will be a transitional home for women with children who are recovering from difficulties. We have a nonprofit called Dwell that we have transitional housing mm -hmm. for uh, women that are coming out of their rehab, a prison, just something to help them get started on the right track. Hey, I got you some okay. well, I grew up in Laurel, been here for 55 years, and as we've seen this community develop, we decided that you know we wanted to um, use some of our resources to revitalize some neighborhoods and also giving back. It won't be a permanent home for anyone. It'll be for people who are trying to find their footing after a really hard time. We want to take a home that has seen much better days and improve it. So yeah. these women can have some sense of, well, this home is restored and I'm going to be I'm restored. restored too. It's just a, yeah. a way to lift them up a little bit more. Yeah. Let's talk about the Sherman House real quick. So William and Jean Sherman lived here from 1965 to 1990, and it's kind of been vacant since. Built in 1935, it's 1,800 square feet, three bedrooms, one bath, and it's $25,000. I really like it. Yeah, I mean, that gives us a lot, you know, a lot to work with, but. The house doesn't give you a lot to work oh, no. with. I <laughs> like, oh. It's a big project. But it's yes. a brick house, it's a solid house. It's beautiful. The brick is beautiful. It, it is could beautiful. be cleaned up. I like that you got kids, you know, your kids playing. I love that um, because they're going to be children living here. Because ideally, this is going to be for women with children. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. I just want to show you the painting. Okay. okay. All right. That's going to explain more. Oh my gosh. Erin, do you like oh, it? Oh, I, I love, love it. Like, I love it. Yeah. I can see yes. now the railing would really, like really it. make a difference yeah. there. I love that. I love it. Yeah, yeah. for safety, if you've got kids on this porch, we're gonna have to have a railing. And then a new front door that would look like the historic old door. Okay. And we'll paint it a fun, fresh, playful color. So Love the color it. palette I'm thinking of are like corals, aquas, light blues, light yellows. These colors in color psychology are playful, cheerful colors. And I think that's gonna be important, especially for these yeah. women who are yes. gonna be moving in. Yeah. Wow. Wow. You asked there so was good. a lot to do in here. A lot of it's already been done. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, there's a lot of work to do. Yeah. I, I hate an acoustic tile ceiling. Me too. too. Nothing feels less like home. Right. Yeah. So we would want to take that down, bring in new sheetrock, fresh paint on the fireplace. I don't think it would serve your budget right. well to try to strip it and get to the okay. original brick. Like any nonprofit, every dollar counts because the funding comes from donors and from Mike and Lisa's own pocket. Yeah, so more than ever, we have this responsibility to make sure that every penny is put to good use. And then yeah, we like focus that. on making this whole house, it's all about being comforting and right. cheerful. We're gonna have kids. I wanna think about how we have a really communal sort of dining space where there's also maybe desks and dinner table here. So this is the dining area and then the kitchen against the back wall. So we have cabinets below the windows and against that back wall, your sink there on the left under the window, oven and hood vent on the back wall for focal point. On the right, we have a refrigerator, and I think this room really could be beautiful. But a lot of the money is gonna go into the walls where you don't even see the work we're doing. Because yeah. we're gonna need insulation, we need electrical, yeah. we need- We need insulation. We need so much yes. work. Yeah, so kitchen, dining, a homework area, all this together would be about $23,000. Okay. okay. Which is, you know, that sounds like a big number, but you're getting three of your, you know, main, main this rooms. is gonna be the main living area for yes. whoever ends up living here. Right. Mm -hmm. With a $25,000 purchase price, we would want to put about $75,000 in it. Yeah. So you'd be right at that right $100,000 okay. budget. Yeah. We do have another house that we want to show you. Okay. okay. Um, so why don't we head over there? Okay. All right. All right. Awesome. Okay. So this is the Watson house. So okay. Viola and Cleveland Watson lived here in the 1960s and 70s. It's a little three bedroom, one bath cottage. It's a thousand square feet, and they're asking $18,000 for it. it. It really. Yeah does look it's a lot for the budget Guess pretty clean I, I like the outside it's fresh it is fresh yes. paint what wow. do you think oh, precious i love the I door love it love the love door love the door love the color yeah 
Love I think it. it looks very cottagey it does. and fresh. Yes. I think yeah. a mint green, green uh -huh. paint would make it feel like such a yes. bright spot that on the block. Makes a big difference there, just the well, paint color. Yeah. And, and we've got to get some railing on the porch, safety for the kids. Yes. We need skirting all the way around the house. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to have a nice new wooden screen door mm -hmm. on the front. Yes. You know that sound it makes uh -huh. when kids yeah. are running in and out. Right. I love that. I think you're going to find that once you're in it, it feels a little bigger than a thousand square feet. And, you know, it, it doesn't smell bad. That's, no, that's it a doesn't. Good thing. Yeah. That, it does that, That's a win. Yeah. The whole house is just broken up into little cubes. Yeah. Right now, like that entire side of the house are bedrooms. Three bedrooms. Okay. okay. And then this side of the house, you've got living, dining, kitchen. Okay. But I think that we could make it feel a lot better, especially for what you plan to use the house right. for yeah. with a group of ladies living here. Right. If we could knock out this wall and the wall in the next room between dining and kitchen, then you have all of this open. It would make it look really big. Yeah, a right. lot yeah. bigger, spacious. This wall's gone. And this wall's gone too, and it becomes a peninsula. And you could have bar seating on that side then, so you have okay. even more opportunity to be together, even if everyone's doing something different. So these are not snow cones. It's apparently more like the texture of ice cream. Yeah, or like Italian ice. I'm gonna go strawberry. Strawberry? Yes. What's your favorite? Well, I personally like strawberry and peach. Well, I think I'm gonna do peach then. This is so good. You. What'd you get? Pina colada. Mm. It blends with my shirt and just in case. Just just in case. case. I wasn't thinking ahead, clearly. So I have a question. Okay. What was harder, choosing a house or choosing a flavor? <laughs> Actually, the flavor, the flavor. was our. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah. So you so felt was, like you really knew which one it was, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We love the architecture on the Sherman House, the bungalow. We really liked the Watson House because we felt like it could be really open, but yeah. I think we're going to go with the Sherman House. Sherman oh, House. Yeah. That's so sweet. Hey, that's yeah. good because the demo's already done. So. <laughs> I that love it. Right. We can start yeah. right now. This is going to be so beautiful. Today is demo at, are we calling it the Cochrane House or are we calling it Helen's House? Yeah, she wants to call it Helen's House. Not after my Helen, her mother was Helen. I would say that it rained acoustic tiles, but it was really more like a waterfall. They were just hanging on by a literal thread. Oh. It was like something out of an Indiana Jones movie. It it's just kept hat. going. He's trying to get out of that tunnel before... The big ball is rolling. Yeah. Instead of uh, Indiana Jones fedora, I had on a Wayne Napier hard hat. Indiana like the Jones. big, heavier version yeah. of Indiana Jones. <laughs> the Indiana Jones. It's all right. Good, feels good. Oh yeah. This house is such a strong architectural type. I mean, it's a, a brick craftsman bungalow, but a lot of the charm has been erased on the inside and a little bit on the exterior. So things like adding that window back, um, doing the railing. This is the first steps yeah. to bringing the charm back to this house. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, wow. That window is beautiful. That small change is like changing the world of quality for this house. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was such a flimsy, stupid window before. That may be a first for me. Flimsy and stupid. Yeah. No, not me. Someone called you flimsy <laughs> and stupid. <laughs> that was funny. That was a good one. I like this kitchen layout. You like the color? I love the color. Man, when y'all called in the color, I had no clue what it was going to look like. When we started spraying, I was like, man, this is a really good color. This is the first time we've seen some color in this house. This is the first time we've seen some kitchen. Yeah. Because, I mean. A room does not a kitchen make. That's you gotta true. got to have the cabinets. I got a lot of questions about this hot glue. OK, shoot. What exactly are we doing with these? So we're making templates for the countertops. What we do is we glue these strips together to basically template each cabinet. So lightweight stencils. That's exactly that right. That are the exact shapes of the countertops. Without having to measure and worry about the walls being out of skew and all that sort of thing. All honesty, I've never seen somebody make a template like this in all of my years. But it's exactly what he needed. It's exactly what he needs. Hey, you learn something new every day. So we take it back to the shop 
we can lay it out on plywood for our sub deck and then we'll apply the laminate there. It's so cool. I'm so proud of, look at what we've made. It also duels as a picture frame after it's used. <laughs> I think I can pull it off. Crop it tight. We have a backsplash, we have countertops, we have paint. We have exterior paint. Mike is in the process of refinishing all the floors still, but he's made tons of progress. So we're getting really close. We were super budget conscious in this house, but it doesn't feel like you're in a budget conscious house. It feels rich. It feels layered and comfortable. She's definitely gonna cry. Mm -hmm. I really can't wait for them to see Helen's house. That's what they're gonna call it. That um, was her mother. And this is all in her memory. So I think they're gonna have a very emotional reaction to this house, even though they're not gonna be living in it. Welcome to Helen's house. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the yard. <laughs> Look how clean it is. Love the porch, oh y'all. I love the railing. Is that door redone? Is that a door like the door or do you like? No, that's actually a new door. Okay. It looks like the old one that I love so much. Exactly, that was the plan. But don't love worry, I didn't, I didn't trash the door. Okay. okay. Oh <laughs> my. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh my word. Where oh. are we? Oh, oh. I know. I <laughs> love it. The front door was damaged. <gasps> so. Yeah. Oh my uh, goodness. Love, is that that door? Okay, so That's the door. Oh my word. I, I love it. Okay, so can't yeah. you just see kids hanging their little backpacks on there? And a place to get their shoes on in the morning. I imagine them running in, home from school, and yeah. kicking their shoes off under there. Yes. And it looks great. You guys are amazing. Like, this is amazing. Yeah. Oh. Look at those colors. Oh, oh, oh. Look at these baby dads. Oh my goodness. Look at the kids. I love it. Well, They're I built those. Fun. Wow, you did? did them? I did. Oh, yes. You are so precious. Wow. Love it. This table for them all to eat on, y'all. I love these floors. Like these turned out so good, and I love the scars. I think that's so important to keep the character of the house. Yeah. Just like, we don't show our scars enough. I love it. Love it's it. Love history. it. Love it. It's history. History. Love. Yes. Love it. Twenty-five thousand dollars to purchase it. We put seventy-five thousand dollars in it. So $100,000, and I mean, this is a beautiful, comfortable house that right. anybody could live in. You really have taken a modest budget and spent it very well. And you did the pretty real good.